times of around 4.66. So in this problem we have, it says that given the field H equal to three Y square AX, we want to find the current passing through a square in the XY plane that has one corner at the origin and the opposite corner at two, two and zero. So in these kind of questions, always go ahead and draw the square that they're talking about right away. We are in the Cartesian coordinate system. So we have X, Y, Z. It says that we are looking at a square that is on the X, Y plane. One of the corners is at the origin. The other corner is at two, two, zero. Two, two, zero is X, two and y2. So when one corner is here, one corner is here, then the square on the xy plane will look like this. Right? And at the same time, h is in the x direction. So these are the directions of the H that I have. What we're looking for, we were looking for the current passing through the square. So we want to find the I enclosed because I have a closed path and I want to know what is the current that is passing through this path. So the Ampere circuital law, integral of HDL is equal to I enclosed. I have four different sides to this square. In each side of this square, I may have a different HDL. The reason is that, do you remember that we did the same thing in electrostatics? So if I call this point A, I know that point A goes to B, goes to C, and then goes to D. So I'm gonna define this as the current. You may define it the other way around. So I defined it counterclockwise, you may define it clockwise, but then you will see that at the end, it should make sense. The current direction that you have should make sense with the age that you have over here. So the reason that I took all those four um, sides of this square into play is that on each side of it, if this is I, for example, from D to A, if this is I, H is like that, right? If it's in the X, H is in the other direction. So H is spinning around each of these sides, right? Now I have to make sure that the I that I find makes sense with this direction of H. So the H should be in that direction. Now, the good thing is that in this kind of questions, some of the terms will be canceled, will be zero. And that's due to the dot product. So let's do that together. See, I enclosed, we said that is equal to the integral of HDL when we go from A to B plus integral from B to C of HDL plus integral of C to D of HDL plus the integral of D to A of H DL. Okay. H is in the X direction. So wherever that I have DL in any direction other than X, then it means that it will be zero, right? Because AX dot AY is zero, AX dot AZ is zero. When I go from A to B, do you agree that DL is in the X direction? So this won't be zero. When I go from C to, uh, B to C, DL is in the Y direction, right? So DL has a Y, X has a X. So this will be zero. From C to D, I do have negative AX, so we're good there. We don't have to um, make it zero. 
But when I go from D to A, again, DL is in this direction, which is negative AY. So that is negative AY, then I have AX, then this will be zero as well. So we, we're only left with these two integrals. Let's substitute for those two integrals. So that is integral from A to B. I'm gonna keep it as A and B, and then I'm gonna put the numbers there. H is three Y square AX DL. When I go from A to B, do you agree that it is DX AX, right over here? This one plus the integral from C to D of H is three Y square AX multiplied by or dot DL. The DL that I have here is um, negative DY, AY. Is that correct? Or negative, oh, sorry, sorry. I was looking, I was looking at a incorrect thing. We're going from C to D. So that is negative DX, AX. Sorry about that. Okay, so then these two integrals will become from A to B of three Y square DX plus integral from C to D. There will be a negative over here. Three Y square DX. So in both of them, I have just integral of DX because Y doesn't depend on X. So it will come out of the integral. Therefore, we're gonna have three y square x go from a to b minus three y square x going from c to d, okay? Now, if I look at this square that I have, a is at point zero, so a is zero, b is at two, then c, is um, so the x for c is two and the x for d is zero, right? Is that correct? Oh, uh, yeah. Because these are the points that I have. So the x over here is zero, the x over here is two, the x over here is two, and the x over here is zero. Okay, now this one, if you separate this, I can write this as positive three y square x from zero to two. Do you agree with that? I changed the, um, the limits of the integral and multiplied it by a negative sign, uh, by a negative sign. So at the end, I'm gonna be left with six a, y square when x is going from zero to two. Y x, because I only had dx. So that is 12 y square minus zero, which will be minus 12 y square. Now, for both of actually, never mind, that's correct. That will be 12 y square. Okay. Yep. Oh, one thing that I realized is that, okay, here, there's a problem. From A to B has Y equal to zero, but from C to D has Y equal to two, right? So I couldn't just add these two because they have different Ys. I could still do that, take uh, changing the um, limits of the integral and multiply it by a negative sign. But when I go from A to B, can everyone see that Y is equal to zero? So since Y is equal to zero, this whole thing will go to zero. Because on this path, Y is equal to zero. 
Therefore, we're left with only the second one. So the second one is negative uh, is positive three multiplied by y to the power of two. Y at this point when I go from C to D is equal to two. So that's three multiplied by two, now it is square. And then we have an X that changes from two to zero. So it's multiplied by another two. That is positive two. Now, so the I enclosed that I have is positive 12. Does that make sense? So you see why I didn't add them, why I just said that that, that is wrong to add them, because they, they have different Ys. 